So um, I was a shut-in like before quarantine happened <laughs> and then, you know, quarantine happened and I really didn't want to leave the house and my husband's like, you gotta get outside. Like you gotta have at least an hour of outside time. So through TikTok, I have found that I do want to leave the house, but it's just because I want to be in Walmart and have somebody scream out Carol Baskin so that I can then scream out killed her husband whacked him that's just like my goal in life if you live near me let's coordinate going to walmart <laughs> okay what are we here to do today this is my third video this is my first energy drink but i drank two cups of coffee afterwards and yes i realized my heart might explode that's okay so if we seem a bit jittery that's okay but it's our third video and it's gonna be the last one. Uh, empties. Empties because it's a little piled up and I'm gonna quit rambling because I don't want this to be too long, okay? Okay, so let's just get into it. Hopefully what I can do is provide prices on the screen as things are shown to you. Um, I'm gonna go into body care first because that is the cat category with the least amount of stuff. So technically this isn't body care. Um, I don't know where I'm going to count perfumes. I think I'm just going to make a miscellaneous category. So at the end of the year, we're going to have skincare, hair care, body care. No. Yeah. Skincare, hair care, body care, makeup, miscellaneous. That's a lot. That's a lot. In me way, I used up this Physicians Formula Butter Perfume. And I think I had two of these. Last year, I finished off one. I think I gave myself like a $4 credit for it because the only way you can buy this was in like a package of things. Um, I really like this perfume. It was a nice scent. However, this was like less than a year old and it started turning this really weird yellow color. And then at the end of its life, it started to strongly smell of alcohol. So I'm glad that I got it like used up before it like totally, totally went bad. But yeah, we'll not repurchase that one again because like I said, it wasn't even a year old and it like went bad. Okay. I finished off my lotion that was in my uh, project 21 by 2021. This is the Bath and Body Works um, Strawberry Pound Cake. And I know it looks like there's product in there, but I have tried to like shake it, to beat this, to leave it standing up like this overnight. And there's, there's not much in there. I can't get it out. It's not even enough for a full body application. So I'm not mad at it. Um, I bought the lotions from them thinking like, that would be more appropriate in the summer than the body cream but it turns out my skin wants the body cream all year round so i'm just gonna try i think i have two more lotions and i might try like combining them with a thicker lotion that's like unscented to see if that helps but that's neither here nor there i finished off a lotion okay hair care i only have one item i finished off in my Project 50 pan. I had this. Um, it's like a it's a detangler, but I use it as a leave-in conditioner. So it's from Shea Moisture, and it's the Coconut Hibiscus Kids Detangler. This stuff, you guys, smells so good. I love it. Now I will say I have. So obviously this is my leave-in conditioner that I love, and then I bought their like other conditioner. Um, it's like an actual conditioner, but it's like. Um, it's like white and thick and it's in a tub and you like put that in you know in damp hair that and it's the same flavor like the coconut hibiscus that what i'm talking about smells different than this does this smells way more pleasant this also almost has like a marshmallowy smell to it it's really nice i really love this so those are my hair care products okay let's talk about like some shower stuff so i have my tree hut bear moisturizing shave oil that i use this is empty dunzo i have another one this is just the shaving oil that i love so this is always a repurchase for me i feel like it really combats like razor burn and i don't use shaving cream because just shaving cream consistently like gave me razor burn anyway so like why would i waste my time on it um but i have found this really helps and i really like especially to use this shaving oil like in like around the bikini line and things like that like i find that it cuts it helps like cuts not to happen i don't know if that's a claim of this but just in my experience it helps like cuts not to happen and then it really does help with no razor burn so yes and then i have a body scrub from bath and body works that i finished off 
Firstly, the scent of this was fine. It was salt water, and this was one of their creamy body scrubs. But look at the packaging. Look at this. It started like flaking away, and then you would look down at your hands, and you'd have like these blue bits all over you, and it was really annoying. And I don't leave like this doesn't sit in the water, you know, like this isn't exposed to the water. It's outside of the shower and then I reach out and grab it and like I'll put some in my hands and then close it and then put it back and then if I need more like I'll repeat that process so but yeah I, I did enjoy the scent I like their oh it was so nice it smells like um it's supposed to be fresh linen violet leaves water blossom and white musk it definitely smells like fresh linen and I just love that it's kind of like a palette cleansing scent to me like just that fresh like either fresh cotton fresh linen something like that so really did enjoy the scent not the packaging i think i do have another one of these though in my closet so at some point i will have to deal with this packaging again okay let's do skincare and then we will do the um makeup so i did finish off another um squalene cleanser from the ordinary you can see i'm not gonna like cut this kind of packaging open you can see how thin it is I really feel like I got my money's worth out of this I so I hear a lot of people say they don't like this as a cleanser and I don't like this as a cleanser either I use this as a makeup remover so it comes out and it's kind of like thicker and white and if you rub it around a bit and then like rub it in really nicely it I don't know it just helps break down all the makeup and I find that I can rub this over my eyes and it doesn't hurt them so I do have another one that I'm that I have open and that I'm working on and then um, I have my eye on the bliss jelly cleanser for that to remove makeup and then after that though I have so many big bottles of like the Garnier micellar water that I need to use and if I have something like this I will use this over like the micellar water and like putting it on like a reusable cotton round to take off my makeup so I'm gonna quit for the time being purchasing products like this to remove my makeup until I get all of those micellar waters worked out of my collection which is gonna be a long time because I have a lot of them okay I finished off this avocado oatmeal purifying clay facial mask I okay so there is for all transparency, there's like a little bit stuck down in here at the bottom. I can feel it. The packaging of this is terrible. Like you take off this and then that's where you're supposed to squeeze the product out. And it just like, I found that I was like fighting with it and like scrunching it up all these different ways and like barely anything was coming out. And then also at like the end of its life, it wasn't like Kind of thick like you expect a mask to be it was like very runny so i was just like screw it i have used this i think i got like 10 to 12 uses out of it so i feel like that's pretty good and i honestly didn't really like this i wouldn't recommend it i don't even know who this is by it just says um resellable for multi-use um you know paraben free but I don't see like an actual brand on here. I wonder if this is just like the CVS brand then since I don't see anything. But either way, if you see these, I don't do not recommend. They weren't bad. They didn't cause any breakouts, but just ugh. Okay, we finished off two more sheet masks from the Dermal sheet mask. You can get these off of Amazon. I really like these. These are very soaked though. Like if you don't like a lot of stuff dripping down on your neck, do not get these. Um, but I like them. You can get like a 30 pack for like $12, which is great. I, however, first, I don't use sheet masks enough to like, cons I don't use them consistently to justify having them. Also, I really want to get away from these like single use type products. I just think that that's kind of wasteful. So as soon as I'm done with all of the sheet masks in my collection, I will not repurchase them. But if you are someone who does like sheet masks, I definitely could recommend this. It's a Korean brand, so most of the like stuff on the back is in Korean. There's a few English like uh, words and writing, but it's so small and I don't have glasses on, so I can't read it. But yeah, do do like these. Proud of myself to have used up two more. I think I have like eight left. Okay, this I did not like. I do not like the brand Origins. I just haven't found anything from them that I like. So this is their um, oil-free, it's the Ginseng 
oil-free energy boosting gel moisturizer and this is the full size I believe it's it's a full ounce in here so you can see like everything is gone this firstly smells like lemon pine salt and it's nasty I don't mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I don't know why I'm leaning over either no smells like lemon pine salt it's horrible it the gel consistency was sticky which was weird didn't like that and then I would use this and I would put this on so I would do get out of the shower do my little ksh -ksh facial spray okay then I would put my serums on and then I would put my eye cream on and then I would put this on okay seems simple enough and then I would like no that was it that was it um sometimes at night I might like redo the ksh -ksh, okay but I'm talking about in the day so I would do those steps it's an appropriate order I like to give myself like my makeup or my skincare plenty of time to sink in before I do my makeup. So I'm talking like 15 to 30 minutes, sometimes an hour. I let my skincare sink in before I do my makeup. This stuff peeled like no other, just especially right along the jawline. So frustrating. And I'm like, I let you sink in for a long time. Like you shouldn't be doing this to me. So do not like, could not recommend. Ugh. Speaking of origins, I have this little sampler kit, which I think this was $30. So I have finished, I finally finished off the eye cream from them that was in here. So you've already seen before that I finished off the face wash, the like night lotion and the gel acne treatment, but I was waiting until I finished off the whole thing before I like gave myself like the monetary credit of it. So just as a recap, Here's the Nida Minis, like little face moisturizer. I'm not gonna go into that, I've already talked about it. Here's the Frothy Foamy Face Wash. Again, already talked about it, not gonna go into it. And here's the um, like gel treatment. So then the eye cream is a half ounce, which is, that was pretty nice. Like you get the half ounce eye cream. This wasn't that bad. I, I honestly, out of everything from Origins that I've tried, this wasn't terrible. And I have tried a few face masks from them that aren't bad, but overall just the brand as a whole i don't like i think they're overpriced for what they are this eye cream wasn't anything like spectacular like it just it did its job and i feel like for this amount of money look granted i got this in a value set but this half ounce i think is like 15 dollars or upwards for that price of money i think and for you to just do your job of like moisturizing my under eyes i feel like i could go to the drugstore and find similar things so that is my rant. End rant. We don't have any Origins products to talk about for a while, so. Okay, last skincare item. I have the Glycolic Acid Toner from The Ordinary. I really like this. I feel like this made such a difference for my skin as far as like helping with breakouts, helping to combat like the redness and scarring. So right now, so I finished this one. I have the e.l.f. Um, what is it? Keep, keep it out, keep it up keep it something toner and so I want to use that one up and then I do have another bottle of this to bust out once that elf one is gone so it'll be interesting too to see like does this do like do I miss this does this do what I actually think it did like if I start getting breakouts again or find that like my skin just looks a little more red or whatever but I really did like this it is it does kind of sting and it has like a weird smell to it I can't describe the smell but it does have a weird smell to it Okay, makeup. Let's start with this. I have a lip balm from Burt's Bees. It's the Lavender Honey Lip Balm that was like in a little pot. I liked this. It was nice. Nothing bad to say. I have too many lip balms, so I'm not running out to purchase it. And I do, it wasn't, not that we're traveling anywhere. When I say it's not travel friendly, I mean like I live on a three level house, so I like to take things with me, you know, like if I'm going to go downstairs to the living room and watch TV, I want to take my lip balm with me. And that one, it just, the pot, I just don't like walking around with those in my pockets. Um, I have another lip balm from Sky Organics. This was the champagne tinted lip balm. It was just a light pink shimmer. I don't dig out my lip balms. That's just, no, not doing it. But this will not roll up anymore. It scrapes my lips with the plastic when I use it. But I really did like this Sky Organics brand. I think I got this at CVS. They came in like a five pack and all of them were some type of tinted um, lip balm. So if I saw that again, I wouldn't be opposed to getting it. Um, finished off my Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational. 
Sensate. <sighs> I finished off a Maybelline mascara. Okay, that's all you need to know. Um, it's not a full size. It's like a little, I don't know, half size. How much is in this? Um, 0.15 fluid ounces or 4.5 ml. So a pretty good size. But I, it sounds wet still when I like open it. But like it started to flake. And you guys know I don't tolerate that. I did not really like the wand. Do you see how like weird, like it, it looks like somebody shoving their belly out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just, it's like bending backwards almost. It's weird. I didn't like it. And like the bristles were very hard and they felt like that cheap plasticky feeling. Okay. I have a primer that I finished off. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Goodbye Pores Poreless, Bur po Poreless Blur Primer no more energy drinks and coffee okay i had to cut this open so you can see like it's all used up so i like pushed the air pocket out of this when i was using it which that's what you're supposed to do and i thought cool i'm almost done with this but then i was like you haven't had this that long is that really all there is so i cut it open and there was a ton of product left in here so i'm really glad i cut it open but i'm kind of mad at the packaging because then once i cut it open and was like scooping it out I felt like one I would get too much product and just being like wasteful and then two since I was exposing it to air more I feel like at the end of its life it just wasn't working as well as it had been like when it was newer and still in this packaging so it's not a bad product I did like it I am currently working on the elf poreless putty primer I'm going to kind of like make them go head to head essentially like I remember all my feelings about this one I'm going to use the elf one and decide like which one of those I want as my primer or do I want to try and look for a different one so if you have a favorite pore filling primer let me know okay two more things I finished off my pearl essence rose water hydrating facial mist the sprayer on this was terrible it was like just too much too much too powerful too much um, and then it's supposed to be hydrating. I, in the winter, so I started using this in January. It was a full bottle. I had it in my 21 by 2021. In the winter time, I found that it wasn't hydrating enough. Like honestly, my Mario Badescu lavender facial spray felt more hydrating than this did, but it wasn't like terrible, but it wasn't great. It's not something I'm going to seek out to like repurchase, but I'm glad I got it used up and out of my life. Okay, and the last thing, my Too Faced Hangover RX Spray. You hear that? You hear that? That's nothing, nothing that you hear. Okay, so this is the Hangover RX 3-in-1. Um, Y'all, really? We gonna pay $32 for this? No, no we're not. Um, So, I tried this as a setting spray. I tried this as a primer. I tried this as a refresher, and it just... For $32, no, it did not amaze me. Like, okay, as a primer spray, like my Mario Badescu one does far better. This, the smell is okay, but like if you go too much, then it's too much, you know? So, and the feeling of this as a primer spray, it wasn't bad. That was probably my most favorite way to use it, okay? But compared to the Mario Badescu one, it felt a little sticky. So there was that. Then as like a setting spray, I don't really feel like this helped kind of take down the powderiness of my makeup. Like the Ofra setting spray, I love that thing. I think that really does do a difference for your makeup. If you've used the MAC um, Prep and Prime, same thing. I think that does a great job to like help take away that powderiness. This did not. And then I tried it as a refresher spray, again, I just didn't realize like it didn't seem to help in any way so not bad like if you like this that's great I'm glad that you like it but I did not like it um yeah will not repurchase this as a setting spray but that is it oh, okay hopefully it wasn't too long or too rambly but we all know that it was so I should just stop apologizing for that and I'm gonna end it and I'm gonna go and probably I don't know I need to get this energy out I'm gonna go run around the house but not really that's it i will see you guys in the next one bye